going to be talking about Armine Blush and mentioning on Armine Bloom as well. Um, first off, the main thing that I need to say is any sort of coating, any sort of resin that has Armines in it is prone to getting Armine Blush, which obviously it occurs in relation to not only moisture in the air but co2 as well which a lot of people don't seem to notice so armin blush is where the co2 and the moisture in the air react to the resin and create the the issue on the top of your coatings or on the top of your pieces which we will get into how you can fix it once you find it if you do unluckily find it now, how do you recognise if it is Armin Blush? Usually it can occur while your item is curing. It can occur days, weeks, couple of months afterwards. Um, it will show up as either a duller finish on your surface, so it won't be shiny like you would expect it to be. It can look a bit like oil slick and it can be a bit greasy and not feel very nice. It can also show up, if it leaves crystally deposits on the top, it can show up um, like a horrible white rough surface as well. Whereas Armin Bloom is where the moisture and the CO2 in the air react with the Armines and the primary compounds in the mixture and they migrate to the surface. So in the case of Armin Bloom, what you'll often find is sticky patches or possibly indentations in your piece that haven't cured. So if all of your piece is fine and you have this horrible sticky patch and it's definitely not because you haven't mixed properly, then it could be Armin Bloom and this would need to be scraped out as much as possible and then another coat which should fix the problem if you come across armin blush you need to wash the piece first you need to get an abrasive pad something not too aggressive but an abrasive pad some warm water and you can use a little bit of washing up liquid as well and um, what you need to do is you will need to rub your piece with the, the wet abrasive um, sponge or pad that you're using um, to try and get off as much as you can and then you need to rinse it off let it dry and check if all of the marks etc have gone if they have gone then and only then can you sand it back to put on another layer because if you try to sand without washing off the water soluble armine blush then your sandpaper will be clogged up with the armine blush and it will cause you problems and it, it won't you won't be able to get rid of it the same way as you would washing it first then doing the sanding to put your next coat on another thing you can do is if your piece has not cured if your piece is still tacky and you notice arming blush or bloom forming then you can do another coat while it is still tacky so then the new coat of resin will actually break down the surface of the old layer and chemically bond to your pe to to the first layer but you need to make sure that your environment is in a different state otherwise you will get the same problem again another thing that people mention and i do notice quite a lot when i see and deal with people's problems is they could have a large item or six coasters all that cured in the same area and some are perfectly fine or most of the item is perfectly fine but then a patch or one or two of their coasters have come out with Armine Blush. This can be related to your airflow. If you do not have adequate um, ventilation and airflow then you will get patches of like standing air. Temperature is mentioned a lot when it comes to relation with the humidity and the CO2 
and that is due to the fact that the lower the temperature the higher the favorability is for having co2 and humidity in the air so yes in summary i'm in bush and bloom it can happen in absolutely any coating or any material that has our means in it but hopefully i have helped you figure out if you do sadly come across Armin blush and Armin bloom how you can remedy it 